press your low full welcome back to my channel do well to subscribe so those are my natural nails cute my nails is so fine like literally so basically what i'm going to be using for this diy are uh, these nails i got off on aliexpress like these are the best nails i've ever best fake apart from the professional ones that i've ever seen because they are already shaped to i think a coffin shape so basically you don't need to shape it you just need to apply it and you're good to go so i have already selected the nails i'm going to be using i already measured it on my natural nails so that it will be easier for me and yeah basically this is basically it and let's get started okay sorry i used this some um, white nail polish and the super glue a new super glue is best to use a new super glue and i got this chrome off on aliexpress like the chrome are so pigmented like they are really 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 nice and um, i'm going to be using this one because i like how the effect i like how it looks like on white nails as you can see it's already shiny and um the nail filer so my nails back again and I'm going to be filing my natural nails to make it smooth and clear the um old nails or whatever. I don't know what to call it, but yeah. So I'm going to have filed my nails already and I'm going to be opening the spark glue. So, um, I have already selected the ones I'm going to be using. As you can see, they are shaped to perfection. So, um, those, I just selected, I just removed them from the tape and placed them on the towel or cloth, as you can see there. So, basically, you know, they are too long for me, so I had to cut them a little bit. Even after cutting them, after fixing them, it was still long, but I think I like it like this because long nails are actually cute sometimes. So I'm just cutting and I'm going to file it down to get back the shape because it would it was actually very sharp. And no one needs a sharp nails, okay? So you're just going to file it down to get back the shape. And as you can see, I'm trying to figure out the exact where the exact nose is going to be because one of my thumbnails bigger than the other. So, which means the fake nail is bigger than the other. So, basically, what I just do is spray, I put a judicious amount of glue on my natural nails. Most people like to do it both ways that's putting on your natural nail and putting on the fake nails so that it will last long. But I think it's better for me to put on my natural nails only because it's still glue, it's still going to, you know. So, I you have to press your nails down hard, not too hard that like it will hurt you, but you definitely have to press the nails after putting the glue because if you don't press it down, it's not going to stay for too long on your nails. Basically, it's not going to stay for too long. So I'm going to do I'm doing the second nails. The second finger, sorry, I'm going to do my this is my second finger. And I put the glue on my natural nails, then put the Fake nails on my natural nails. I don't know if you get this because it's self explanatory. It's not that difficult, but it was really difficult putting on my other nails. Oh my god, it was difficult. It was hard. Hard. So, yeah.
so this finger is done it's done it's i got it looks so cute like oh my god i just saved like a hundred bucks oh my god look at my finger nails so cute so i've done with both nails as you can see i'm looking all glammed up already and um yeah cute nails uh, so i still had to file them you have to file them but during this nail this doing this hair was so easy but when it got to filing my other finger it was i think that sh this should be my right my left finger and when it got to me doing my right finger it was difficult because i can only use my right finger to do so many things so if i really know how to do it do things with their left and right finger but me it's basically with my right finger so doing it with my left finger was difficult as you can see it was difficult but i did it anyway as you can see it looks it's seamless looks the same shape is still cute okay so um i figured out using um this already made nails you have to apply your white polish or base coat as they say i don't know you have to apply your white polish first because once you apply the chrome it would not stay trust me it would not stay so basically after filing i'm just putting my white cortex on my both finger nails okay So we're going to open up the crown. Can you see how shiny it looks? Oh my god. Chrome are gorgeous. So basically, I'm going to show you how, how you guys how I apply it. So basically, once the white polish is dried, you just take a little amount of the chrome and go in circles around your fingernails and make sure it's touching everywhere on your finger because i f i figured out um the part where the white polish was not able to reach the chrome was not able to get there too so make sure your white polish goes everywhere around your fingernails so basically you just you, you, you can mess this up because you're still going to clean it afterwards wash your hands with water or whatever so basically i'm just taking my time to apply the chrome on my finger see i've done the other one this is the second finger which i'll be doing applying the chrome and whatever so i'm doing the same thing if you can because i think the the um the lighting was too much so it's not really showing but you definitely see it just what the video and i think at this point yes it was you see it's clearer now so basically, as you can see, it's shiny. It's really, really shiny. So, yeah. Chrome is the best. It gives your nails a very cute effect. Like, when you put it on the sun, it will be like, wow, is this my nails? Oh my god, I look cute. Your nails will look cute, trust me. So, um, yeah. So as like I said, after applying your first bit of the chrome, you apply your white polish. Then you let it dry. Um, for my case, since I didn't have the professional nail dryer, 
I use my hand dryer, which you will see later on in the video, because I cannot cook my key myself. I cannot cook my key myself. Why? Waiting five, I think ten. It took ten minutes for the nails to dry off. I applied, but I was like, no, I can't wait this long. So I use my hair dryer. You use the cool effect of the hand dryer so that it won't hurt your skin. So yeah. I'm applying the white polish still on my both fingernails. As you can see how shiny the nails actually looks like after the first base coat of the chrome. Like, oh my god, beautiful, beautiful. And don't mind, don't mind how messy it is, you would see it in the next, in the end of the video. So as after the white nail polish is dried, I apply my second coat of the chrome to give it a long lasting effect. You know what I'm saying? If you don't know what I'm saying, then you need to do this video. Then you will know what I'm saying. Okay? So I'm still up going to be applying my white polish on the on top of the chrome. This is the last white polish I'll be applying. And um after applying your white polish, you gotta let it dry. You gotta you know it to be messed up. So just put the white polish everywhere around your nails. And as I told you guys, I used a hand dryer. To make the nails um, dry faster, as you can see, because I can't come and keep myself within 10 minutes. What? So, after using the hand dryer, I washed my hands with water. As you can see, it's messed up now, but wait for the next clip. Wait, 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 wait. And yeah, I washed my hands with white with water. As you can see, there's no chrome residue or whatever. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. I hope you guys liked it. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you try this out, uh, please let me know. Bye. Love you guys. Bye.